That's a count down 25. Now see, she's going too slow for me. All right, shoulder taps done. Side oblique crunch. Alexa, count down 25. So you're gonna go to the side. With your wipers. Alexa, count down 25. Here she goes with that left. Alexa, count down 25. This one's gonna be different. I'm not gonna use that. Three, four. So you wish your wiping. Side. I'm not using that. Hands to the side. Tilting, working those obliques. Once again, many ones might be better. Keep those shoulders. The object is keep those shoulders flat on the ground. Okay? Ah! Tilt it over. Whoa. Breathe through it. Stop holding that breath. Head up is optional. All right. Y'all, I lost count. But I know I'm probably like at, oh, 18. 19. 20. The object is to keep that shoulder on the ground. So this shoulder needs to stay on the ground. Five. Four. Three, two, one. All right. Where's your wiper? Woo! Now we do that other side of those obliques. Alexa, count down 25. That chin out your chest. Let's work those obliques. Oh, just in case. All right. So that is done with the side oblique punches. Now we're going to go into star abs. 25 star abs. Alexa, count down 25. Your heels down, toes up. Drag the feet out, drag them back up. That's your modified version for the side. All right. Jack knife, right side, butterfly steps. Jack knife, left side. Alexa, count down 25. Five minutes 
This one, if you use her or a counter, she is going to, you're going to have to do a total of 50. So, I'm going to use my handy dandy clicker. Hopefully I'll click. And we're going to type there. I mean, click there. All right, 25 butterfly set up. Let's go. Keep them feet together. Bounce. As soon as you hit that ground, bounce up. Inhale. Blow it out. Always inhale when it's easy. Exhale when it's hard. Using your core to pull you up. Ten more, just to be safe. I don't know what number we're on. This one, I didn't. I thought it was at our zero. Ah! Let's do it for the gym. All right, last one. That nice. Opposite side from what you did before. Make sure this is set this time. Right. Alexa, count down 25. You do it this way or that way. That's the option. Modify when you need. If you can't keep your legs straight, that would be the modified version. All right, now we are on to number, number nine. Feet crunches and then 10 is leg raises. All right, feet crunches. Alexa, count down 25. Come on, engage that core. Open up the legs. Chin up out that chest. Breathe. Step with it. All right. Woo! Number 10, leg raises. Alexa, count down 25. That wasn't 25, that was half. So let's uh, count down 25. Alexa, count down 25. Because when you go up and down, she was counting that as two. Up and down is one. Engage that core. If you want more attention, you know what it is. Raise that head up. Breathe. All right. Grab you some water real quick. Come on. Grab you some water. Grab you some water. Y'all ready? Y'all got enough? We moving on. We're gonna start with that dead bug. Dead bug. Alexa, count down 25. Oh, she tripping. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I don't know what you did. All right. I guess you was calling twice with me. That worked out well, though. All right. We're going to do mountain climbers. Let's go. High flank. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Now, y'all know I usually do like there's two legs. There's 25 each leg. So, I'm going to do 25 here just for my sanity. You don't have to because I said 25. So, when it's two legs, y'all see how you can switch it up. So, I'm going to do my 25 again. Modify. Mountain 25 plank dips. Y'all ready? Once again, you can do them this way or this way. All right? It's only one side though, one side. Because after we do that plank dip, go to book crunches and then go to the other side. Alexa, count down 25. Alexa, count down 25. 25. Modify. You will bend your knees. All right. Stretch your back out a little bit if you have to. Otherwise, let's get into these double crunches. Ooh, I got to sneeze. And the burp at the same time. Woo. Alexa, count out 25. Elbows wide. Chin out your chest. Chin meet knees. Not chin meet forehead. Five, four, three, two, one. I know she was done already, but I just had to do that for myself to feel like I finished right. Flutter kicks. 
Let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Five simple twists. Which will end up being like it's two legs again. So we're gonna do 25 and see how y'all do. And then we'll do another set of 25 to so make sure we get equal opportunity to both legs. Let's uh count down 25. I slipped that in there on you. I slipped that in there on you. You did that. You did that. Rush and twist. Remember, if you had the time, lose weight. When you're going at a slower pace, not so fast. Throw in some weights. I love weights with my rush and twist. I usually grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell. But this time, because I got a lot of movies, you're just going to do what that is. Ooh, 25, which would mean a 25, a total of 50. All right, I'm going to start with the beginner. And then I'm going to go into the advanced. Everybody know advanced is feet off the floor. Beginners are feet flat on the floor. 90 degree angle, let's go. Alexa, count down 50. No, she'll go too slow. Two, three, four, twenty-five. Hit the hip. She was going too slow. Alexa R. Oh. Guess what y'all? Number 20. Number 20. I probably should put my fingers on, but I'm just gonna have fun with it. Can't make it do what it do. 25 bear jacks. Alright? Gonna get into a tabletop position. Now because everybody's gonna jump in their own pace. I'm not gonna use Alexa. I'm gonna go faster than Alexa. So just for those who may need her, I'm going to have her count down. But go at your pace once again. Go at your pace. All right, tabletop position. A bear jack is this. All right, stand in that tabletop position the whole time. Y'all ready? Let's go. Alexa, count down 25. Up that Jesus. Oh, there y'all have it. 500 reps. Wasn't that bad? Wasn't that bad? All right. Woo! 20 exercises, full body workout, 500 reps. Took us 22 minutes, and that's with a little break and me stopping in between. So, really, like 20 minutes. We're going to get our 10 minutes of extreme power movement in. It's going to take us 30 minutes. I tell you, all I need is 30 minutes of your time. Sometimes I go a little more, but 30 minutes. Let me grab Crimson. Get some water. Grab your luxury fitness hoop. Let me know if you like it, because uh, <laughs> Thursday we're going to do the same 20 exercises. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. All right? Thank you, Jada. Good morning, Keisha. So, yes, 
So it was a little intense if it was your first time. And probably intense if you've been following me. But that's what you want. You want to build that endurance. You want to get that heart rate up. You want to do something that's going to take it down. And then boom, put it back up again. You don't want your heartbeat to stay at the same level the whole time you're working out. You won't burn the cardio, the fat. You won't, you won't get the calorie burn that you really wanted, okay? So, even though we did not utilize any weights, we still did some strength training when we were doing the planks, elevating our legs in midair, using our total core and back to depend on us to execute the moves. All right, um, I'm gonna head over to, my phone not ready y'all, so <laughs> they, they had to order another one. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna head over to, um, hoop therapy for cameras. I'm sorry, one more, couple more days, couple more days, and then I got y'all, I got y'all. All right, y'all have a blessed day, grammars. <laughs> I'm gonna head on over to hoop therapy. If anybody wants to join me, they can. Um, I'm just gonna put this here real quick. Flipboard, flipboard, come on. I'll say, I'm gonna come back. I'll never go back. Okay, hoop therapy. We're gonna do our 10 minutes, our thousand steps of um, extreme power hooping. We're not hula hooping. I know some of you are looking like, oh, she got a hula hoop. No, we're extreme power hooping. Here I go typing with no glasses. All right. Oh, you coming over, Jada? Okay, let me put your name on here. Oh, it'll put you on when I... I'm going live now. All right. I'm live. As soon as I see you, I'll come on in and, grab, and put you in there. Good morning, good morning. I'm trying to see y'all without no glasses on. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, LaManda. Good morning. What did I say? I'm waiting on her to come on in the hoop therapy. Good morning. Oh, I hate the day. I got to get behind y'all so I can put some color on these words. Good morning, money. Good morning. Did I say Emmanuel? Good morning to me. Tamika, good morning. Good morning. Miss Venue. All right, she there, guys. Let me add her in. She's going to join me over in hoop therapy. Oh. It said it's adding. It's connecting. All right. She is in, so we're going to get our insurance power moving on. Get some music. All right, Alexa. Count down five minutes. Nine, four, eight, I think, oh, this is the six minute version. This one. Y'all, let me tell y'all. Oh, my core is sore. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Ugh, these are going hit hoops. They don't like, they don't like clothes. Let me see if I tie a knot. If you don't have a hoop, a luxury fitness hoop, just grab your bootleg hoop. If you don't have a bootleg hoop, just get up and move with it. Get up and dance. Move your feet. Elbows, elbows. Ugh. Good save, good save. <laughs> get my body. Yeah, you've been braiding so long. Hey, I want to give myself tonight. How's everybody? Today is, y'all already know, Transformation Tuesday. Transformation Tuesday does not have to be about weight loss. It could be about weight gain. It could be about... It could be about emotional, physical, mental, spiritual. It could be about whatever you want it to be about. Ooh, yes, come through, Princeton. This is a luxury fitness hoop. You can get one of these over at perryhoopqueen.com. P-E-R-I-H-U-L-A-H-O-O-P-Q-U-E-E-N. Perryhoopqueen.com. It's not a hula hoop. It's not a toy. It's registered fitness equipment. If you want to, hey, get 
body, you better get more, get waistline real tight. Woo, 500 reps, I'm feeling it. How was that for you, Jada? The 500 reps. I liked it. Okay. It wasn't too much, was it? No, I was a little, I was a little behind. Girl, look, you know I'm asking the wrong questions on this. I mean, answering the questions on this bootleg phone. What, <laughs> what did you say? Oh, okay. I had, I had, um, like the second exercise, when I say after the shoulder taps, it was the seals. So you had to do 25 on each side. But I'm going to use that as we progress when I do the 500 reps. You know, some of them going to be intense. We're going to struggle a little bit, but that's all in good fun and love. And that's what you want. You don't want everything to be easy. So I did, you know, I tried to keep it as balanced. A little tough, but a little, with a little love. But, you know, <laughs> try to balance it out. So that was the 500 rep challenge that I was going to do. But I was like, you know what, let me test it out and do it for boot, butts and guts. But it was only 20 minutes, guys. And like I said, that was with me pausing, us taking a little water, quick water break. So it was 20 minutes, actually, because it was like 22 minutes total. So... Drop down low, hit the floor with it. Drop down low. Uh, uh. My knee's like, girl, not this morning. <laughs> uh -oh. Is that very little cool queen? That is Dana Dean in the building. Good morning, Dina. Uh. So once again, Transformation Tuesday, post that positivity, post about those good vibes, post how you turn the negative into a positive, post, post, post. That's, that's, that's going to help you deal with the issues, the complications, the hurdles, the obstacles that you have while you're on this journey. You may, may be thinking, oh, this too much, I don't want to do this, blah, blah, blah. But if you don't post and you don't get feedback and advice from others, who is doing it out in the mud so they can tell you the progress is not easy, the process is not easy, plateauing is not easy, but we all been there so we know the struggle. So we can all give you our experiences that help you overcome to get that progress back moving, to get that process where you see progress, to get you out of that stuff where you plateauing because everybody plateau. Even after going up next month, it'll be eight years. Next month, she's around next month. <laughs> on the 11th will be eight years there still comes a point where I'm like ugh like in May I had to take a couple steroids because my prednisone you know the weather was changing it was acting up I didn't want to do it but I knew if I didn't it would have got worse so I did my nebulizer treatments which had steroids in it I didn't take my regular steroid medicine because I was like ugh but anybody who knows about prednisone knows it makes you eat you don't, even, it don't, you don't even have to eat. Let me not even put that on food. It just gives you weight. It's a steroid. That's what it does. So, I'm at my mom's. My mom got a whole little mini refrigerator full of nothing but soda. So, every time I'm over there, you know my stepdad. Girl, get your Pepsi. My little dumb stuff. I'm taking my three, four Pepsi's home with me. No, and I don't even drink soda like that no more. But, because I was on that prednisone, the craving was there. The thirst was there. I was dry mouth, cop mouth. So, here I am drinking up. My little pudge in July, June, July, I was like, hold up, hold up. I said, oh no, we got to cut this out. So I had to, I had to get back into my mentality. I finished the last soda that I had back then. <laughs> Couldn't let it go away. <laughs> but I had to stop making it an everyday thing. And it wasn't like I drunk the whole can. It didn't even taste right to me. But it was just the point. When you drink stuff with sugar in it, the object of it is to keep pulling you in so you want more. So when you drink those sugary drinks, that's what it does. It makes you more thirsty. So you, you think you're thirsty, but you're really not. It's just making you crave it more. So you don't want water. Water ain't got no sugar in it. So that's why everybody be like, girl, I mean water. But if it had some sugar in it, you would drink it. <laughs> but I got back on track. I got back on track. So I haven't had, she tried to 
Who was it? They was like, oh, you're not taking no soda? Sunday when I was out there, I was like, no, 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 no. You know, we done? We didn't even switch sides. Huh? I, I thought I did. But that song was six minutes, so we gonna switch sides. Alexa, count down five minutes. I have to, I have to listen to her because she be doing too much. Well, that other song was six minutes and nineteen seconds, so and we already another minute into this song, so we was hooping for seven minutes on one side. Look, y'all know when I get to talking, I just be talking, but. Be careful of those sugary drinks. You can have it. I'm not saying get rid of them, but be mindful of your intake of them. Because before you know it, you'll be drunk a whole can, bottle, 20 ounce, a liter of a sugary drink. And it don't take long. And the next day, you're going to want that sugar. You're going to want that sugar. You're going to want it. That caffeine, you're going to be craving it all over again. And that's why I stick to Sprite. When I do want something, be like, well, that shit, I said, but it's clear. So for me, <laughs> My mindset, it's not as bad because it's clear. <laughs> it's closer to the color of water. But <laughs> that's my mindset when I do drink soda. I will get a Sprite. Um, Sprite is no caffeine. It's less calories. But it's still got the sugar in it, but it's not as bad. So just be mindful of the sugary drinks that you are intaking. Be mindful of it. The addiction is real. It is so real. You know, when I started my journey, Mountain Dew was my uh, choice of favor for a soda. I've never finished the bottle because I would go be at work, go to the vending machine, get a bottle of Mountain Dew. I never finished it. That was a funny thing. I mean, I didn't even do half. It was just I had some every day, though. And then I realized on the weekend, I wasn't drinking it. So I was like, okay, so when I started my fitness journey, in September, in November, I quit drinking Mountain Dew cold turkey. Quit drinking it. Oh my gosh. You know how people say, oh, when you quit doing stuff, you get headaches. Like, what I tell you, my sugar migraine, I call it a sugar migraine headache. Because it was, <laughs> my regular migraine headaches be bad. But this, it was a pressure, it was a pressure headache that sat right there. And it was, it was, oh, so I went to the doctor because it didn't dawn on me that that was what it was from at that time. So he said, has you changed anything? He, I said, well, I stopped, I, I quit drinking Mountain Dew cold turkey. He was like, don't you ever do anything like that again? He said, you have to, you have to ease out of things. You can't just quit them cold turkey. You got to work your way out of it so your body can adjust. He said, because you did that, that sugar rush, that's that pressure right there. It's looking, it's craving. You're not feeding it. So your brain activity is like, hey, hey, and, and would have forced me to drink it, but because I fought through it. So what I did was I bought the little Dixie cups, you know, to go to the bathroom, the small, small ones. And I would just pour a little bit in there and sip on it for the next couple of weeks. And why the doggone pressure started relieving off of that, I was like tripping like, wow. It really started releasing the pressure off of that migraine that I had. So once the migraine was gone, I slowly started taking myself off of that little Dixie cup asphyxiation daily. I started doing like every other day for a couple of while. Then I slowly was doing a couple of times a week and eventually got down to none. So it was just weird how something could have a hold over you and you don't even realize it. I was like, wow. So. I don't drink Mountain Dew like that, and when I do, I'm like, oh my God, this is nothing but pure sugar. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, you know how people who quit smoking, be like, oh my God, I didn't realize how much cigarette stunk until I quit smoking. <laughs> so, I get it now. But, if you're gonna quit doing something, don't do a cold turkey. Ease your way into it. Just like if you're gonna go vegan, you know, ease your way off of eating the meat, because your body is going to react to it. Not you, because it's something you're trying to do, and it's going to take a while to get it out your system. Your, your body is going to fight you on all these new changes that you have coming. So that process, that progress, that plateauing, all three of those things are going to take place. I did an article about it. A lot of people text me, inbox me, and was like, oh my gosh, this article helped me so much. Because I was at a place in my workout that I was like, I'm not seeing any results. Stop looking for results and just do it. The more you look for results, the more you set yourself up, you'll start seeing the results. 
like I told uh, Jada and April and Latina last week when we did all those planks and I rewatched my plank video and I was doing the reach plank and I saw my back when I did the reach and my arms, I was like, dang girl. I didn't realize it was, you know, tone, tone light. I was like, okay, okay, pat myself on the back. They're there, the results are there, you know. You may not see it, you may not see it, but others will. All right, that's those five minutes, but I'm gonna finish this song up. Alexa off. Are we at a thousand, Jada? Or no? Listen, me and Jada keep moving, so. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to be spinning out. So yeah, the results are there. They may not show all the time. If I put on a crop top, you may or may not see an indentation or, or a six pack. Now if I suck in, it's always there. But I ain't about to walk around and be about to pass off for y'all. <laughs> you, you either see it or you don't. Like sometimes I can just raise my arm up and it'll go in. You know, make a certain move with my arm in a picture and I'm like, oh, look at my arm flexing. Didn't even flex it, but it's there. So they there. I move with the pink stuff. I got my squad with me. And you don't lose weight in pounds. You lose weight in inches. So don't get on that scale every day torturing yourself. It'll come to you. It will come to you. We just want to have a good time. Turn around. Hey. Money high. Look y'all, I'm doing this with a hit hoop now. You need a wire hoop when you're dancing. Drop it down, drop it down. Low, low. I'm going to do a squat. Bring it on back in. <laughs> Work this way until I hurt a little. The mind's sore. I don't know if it's from today and yesterday and all the above. <laughs> but that is PK Fitness 4.21. Nah. Butts and guts class, ladies and gentlemen, along with some extreme power hooping with our luxury fitness hoops from PerryHooHoopQueen.com. Remember, it is 80% nutrition, 20% exercise that will grant and give you results, 100% results, because results require action. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Choices, chances change. You must make a choice to take a chance or life will never change for you. If it's not a struggle, it's not a process. And if it's not a process, it's not a struggle. If you want to come on over to PK Fitness 4.21, your girl Coach Pinky, I got you. Follow me on Instagram at PK underscore fitness underscore 421. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, we there? Good. YouTube channel at PNK Fitness 4.21. Come on over and join my Facebook fitness group page. It's a private page at PNK Fitness 4.21. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Think of Me Diva 421, and Snapchat Think of Me Diva. Follow my sister, Luxury Fitness Hoops, across the board. Luxury Fitness Hoops. Instagram is the underscores, Luxury underscore Fitness underscore Hoops. TikTok is Luxury Fitness Hoops. YouTube is Hoop Therapy, and she also has a Luxury Fitness Hoop Facebook page, and she has a private Hoop Therapy page for us ladies only. So y'all come on, y'all be great, y'all stay blessed, remain free up, continue to wash your hands, social distance, mask on, Coach Pinky, I'll see you on the flip side, please don't get me high, write my name and I can't argue with you, I just raise my price, I'm a boss, I'm a leader, I pull up the Montecita, cause I got shit from me, I'm a savage, classy, booty, ratchet, what, sassy, moody, nasty, I got it, there you have it ladies, y'all have a great day. Transformation Tuesday. Post, post, post. Get it out your system. Let it go. Let it get out. Don't hold on to it. Don't resist it. Live your life. Don't let it live you. Blessings to you all.